Let's take a quick look at these Bondas screwdriver style ball ended hex driver sets. Um, I had purchased both of these on Amazon recently. Metric set came in at $12 and the SAE set came in at $14. One thing I should go ahead and point out right away is there are a lot of different sets depending on the particular sizes that you want available through Amazon. And the prices tend to fluctuate fairly erratically depending on which size you are going for. Um, while these tools are new to me, I actually have multiples of these sets already. And I purchased these additionally um, just to add to a mobile tool set that I'm putting together. You can see that these do come in a reusable plastic case, and all the, although there's a little bit of adhesive stuck on these. Um, they are designed in such a way that they'll hold up to a decent amount of abuse. However, I definitely removed the cardboard in the back of them. Um, while these are sold individually, they do color coat them. Metric has the red, and SAE is a yellow handle top. Um, and if you ever do purchase the Torx, those are in a separate color as well. And as pointed out in the literature, these are the ball and screw driving points. Um, so in my mind, the metric's going to be the one that I'll use more often than anything. But for the nominal size and weight, um, SAE still has a common place. And the form factor of these is pretty forgiving, even in a mobile setup. Before moving away from the packaging, one other thing I should point out is these are made in the United States. And Bondus is actually a local company to me. Um, so I try and give them my business when possible. However, I should point out that I'm no lo in no way affiliated with them and I did buy these with my own money. Um, the first thing that is I think pretty apparent with this set is these screwdriver handles are very nice and comfortable. Um, I think if I were to pick a screwdriver handle this would be my choice. Um, it's going to have essentially an over molding over the entire thing but the tip and it's a fairly sharp oval which makes it fairly easy to spin in the palm of your hand. Um, other than that it's a fairly comfortable over molding. Um, I believe it's butylene firmer and for that reason it may wear off over time um, just as the tooling has gone after them. I have ruined a couple of sets in the four millimeter which for me is the one I use the most frequently. Um, you can see that they do print the size on each one however they only put it in one spot and for a tool that you typically set down and pick up a lot and they look fairly similar, especially on the SAE side, it would be nice to have them labeled. It would be nice to have them labeled a little bit more pr predominantly. If the back was just a little bit flatter, it would work pretty well to put the label on there. But at this shape, I do not believe it would last long before it wears off. However, I do take a silver sharpie to these typically and just write it on each Sides, that way, no matter how it's facing, I'll see that side is facing up. Now, as much as I love those handles, it is a little disappointing to see that when you get to these very small sizes, um, it does not have that soft butylene or plastic. Um, it is just a hard, rigid plastic. But as these are more of a precision tool, and honestly, I rarely use them, it is nice that they do have some sort of a handle, as a T handle would be much less comfortable. Now, I think most people would see these and think of more of a workbench or an assembly line type tool. However, um, the particular angles that you can get with both the ball joint um, and being a fairly narrow tool m makes these very effective for any time you do need to use a hex head. Industrial machinery is the first thing that comes to mind, of course. Um, but really, even the automotive setting, these will be useful just about any time you do have hex fasteners. As with all ball points, um, you do have to worry about applying too much torque when they are at, are at an angle. These are not really used for high torque applications. And that's one thing I like about them. Unlike a T-handle, you're less likely to break these because you can't over torque them. There's no holes, there's no easy way to attach a, a pliers to them or a wrench. Um, and for that reason, they do kind of re force you to stay within the, torques of, the torque capabilities of the tool. Another thing that should be pointed out is while T-handles are probably a little bit more common of use, um, they are much harder to store. They take up a lot more space. They're more difficult to store efficiently in a toolbox. And a lot of people move to using like a tea tree for them. And while they are nice for more of a workbench application, um, something where you need to store your tools in a small drawer or in a tool bag 
this really is the better option to go with. One other thing that's nice to consider is um, there's a lot of attention to detail on how these sets are manufactured. For example, if you were to have one of these out of order, you can see that there is a gentle tapering of the length that makes it apparent very quickly. Not that it's typically the end of the world to have these things out of order, but it is the added attention to detail and the refinement over time that speaks to a quality brand such as Bondus. So this is probably a good time to point out that on these smaller plastic handled screwdrivers, um, you will notice that there is not that second underlaying color, um, and it's just going to be the same molding as the main color. However, when they are sitting up, um, you still do get that color representation. That makes it very apparent which set it belongs to. While there's a lot of information on this literature here, one thing to point out is that Bondus does have a very good warranty, um, lifetime warranty, and they really do stand behind it. So if you have any issues, um, just call them up and they will typically get you another one sent out, no problem. I should also point out that they are commonly available for purchase individually. So if you are missing one from a set or you do happen to break one and don't want to bother warranting them, you can always just purchase an individual one off Amazon as well. So I think I'm just going to stick these back in the organizer. Um, being as it is just a very thin plastic case, there's really no huge advantage to cramming both sets into one like you would with some sort of a hard molded case. And there we go. So. Um, I think the set will work very well in a mobile application. They don't take up that much space and they are still relatively organized. If you haven't ever considered using these screwdriver type hex bit sets, you really should check them out. Just get uh, start with the metric size. Very inexpensive. $12 for this set and I can guarantee you that it will be well worth your time over those T-handles. That being said, T-handles do have distinct advantages. However, they do tend to be a little bit less of a muscle memory type tool of, than a screwdriver. And they do require higher clearances. So I really see this as a necessary tool along with T-handles in any well-stocked workshop. Well, thanks for checking out this review. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and have a good night. Thanks.